Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fakir Saksana and I'm an undergraduate student from the Faculty of Law Universitas Indonesia. And I am an assistant researcher in uh, private international international private law for together with Dr. Mutiara Hikmah. And today I'm going to present to you about my, uh, our paper on Indonesia's bilateral investment treaty with Malaysia. So without further ado, let's start. Okay, so a background on bilateral investment treaty. Bilateral investment treaty are an international agreement made by two countries which establishes the term and conditions for the investment made by a national or a company from one state in the other. The, the unique characteristic, uh, characteristic of many BITs is that they contain a provision on the use of investment arbitration to settle investment dispute between foreign investors and host states. The BIT in general aims to give some protection to foreign investors from possible discriminatory treatment from the host country, to prevent non-economic barriers, and to deal to, with the national treatment toward uh, foreign investors. Other than that, BIT also function in several ways, such as a commitment document from the host country to, other, to the other country, to encourage investment flows between the two states, to protect the rights of investors, and as an official tool for foreign investors as a documented investment relation do relationship. Okay, so uh, on the region, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations of UP or ASEAN as a group has a strong bargaining position against foreign investors due to its uh, ongoing development, development in economy, which grows rapidly uh, in the recent decades. And with that in mind, in dispute settlement, to ensure that the par uh, the arbitrators and the par parties who will uh, decide upon the case really understand the context in which ASEAN works uh, and operates in, we highly recommend that ASEAN members should use the international investment arbitration as a complement to local adjudication instead of bringing the case to uh, international uh, arbitration uh, arbitration organization outside from ASEAN region. Okay, so regarding this uh, research paper, uh, research paper, there are three, uh, two main research questions. The first one is the, how were the BITs between Indonesian and some ASEAN member states and with Malaysia agreed and negotiated? And number two is how does the dispute settlement mechanism apply in the BIT between Indonesia and Malaysia? Okay, the first one uh, is on investment. Regarding investment, ASEAN Investment Corporation is implemented to the Framework Agreement on the ASEAN Investment Area or AIA made in 1998, while investment protection is supported under a separate agreement, the ASEAN Agreement for the Promotion and Protection of Investment made in 1987, commonly referred to as ASEAN Investment Guarantee or IGA. Uh, number and uh, the Indonesian and Malaysian bilateral investment treaty itself has been uh, negotiated and signed on by both countries on the 22nd of January 1998 and 1994 and entered into force on the 15th of August 1994 and will expire on the 15th of August 2024 with a survivor clause of 10 years. Uh, there are some similarities between the BIT that Indonesia has made with Malaysia compared to BITs that Indonesia have made with other ASEAN countries such as Thailand and other countries. Uh, furthermore, the treaty have, uh, have put a high aspect on the desire to, uh, desi on this desire to increase in economic cooperation between the countries and, the, uh, and the recognizing the need to protect investment by investors of both contracting parties and to stimulate the flow of investments and individual business initiative with a view to economic prosperity of both country, contracting parties. Okay. And since in its conclusion, the BIT made by Indonesia and Malaysia have resulted in a, huge, uh, in a very big positive profit, uh, positive output, uh, not just for, not just in Indonesia, but in Malaysia as well. Data from the Malaysian Investment Development Authority shows that investment from Indonesia in 2018 amounted to 
355.6 million ringgits through investment in eight different projects. Furthermore, uh, in Indonesia itself, uh, the FDI value from Malaysia reached 500 million US dollars in the form of, of 998 different projects in 2010. And this continues to grow year after year, peaking at 3.1 billion US dollars uh, and 913 different projects in 2015. So we can see that this uh, investment greatly increased the amount of foreign in foreign direct investment of air or FDIs uh, that goes from one country to the other, whether from Malaysia to Indonesia or from Indonesia to Malaysia. Furthermore, uh, both countries have also agreed to increase their cooperation in the plantation and fishery sectors to further increase the amount of investment that can be uh, that can be received by both countries from each other. And uh, on the state investor dispute settlement itself, uh, Indonesian Malaysia uh, Bilateral Investment Treaty itself has several provisions regarding state investor dispute settlement. 